Hello children, in this video we will solve questions that were asked in the International Max Olympiad 2017-18 from the logical reasoning section for standard 5. Which of the following figures is not exactly embedded in figure X as one of its parts? So which of the following figures is not exactly embedded? Read the question correctly whenever it comes to questions on embedded figures you have to read the question correctly whether they are asking for which figure is embedded or which figure is not embedded. Here they are asking which of the following figures is not exactly embedded. So let us try to find that out. Let us look at option A. Where can I uh, spot option A in the given figure? See this is option A right. Yeah, Option A is embedded in the given figure. Option A is present in the given figure. Let us look at option C. Where can I find option C? This is option C. See option C is embedded here like this. So we have identified option A. We have identified option C. Now let us try to spot option D. So where is option D? Here. Option D. So option D is also embedded in the given figure. So which is the option that is not embedded in the given figure? It is option B. Option B is not embedded. We are not able to find it out. Option A is there. Option C is there. And option D is also there. Your correct answer option here is option B. In a line of 42 students, Raj is ranked 16th from the top and uh, Rohit is ranked 11th from the bottom. How many students are there between Rohit and Raj? So there is a line of students standing like this and this is the student whose rank is 1. Okay, This is the student whose rank is 1 and this is the student whose rank is 42. And where is uh, Raj? where is Raj standing? Raj is here or Raj is 16th rank from the top. Similarly, Rohit is 11th rank from the bottom. From this side, he is the 11th rank. Okay. Now, I am not writing any number here. Before I write uh, the number here, let us understand what they are trying to say. See, let us say there are 4 people in a class and A, B, C, D. Okay. Now, A is the 1st rank. B is the 2nd rank. C is the 3rd rank and D is the 4th rank. So, when I say that D is the 4th rank, how many people are there before D? When I say D is the 4th rank, there are 3 people before D. Similarly, when I say that Raj is 16th rank, how many people are there before Raj? There are 15 people before Raj. When I say that Rohit is 11th from the bottom. So, this is the position of Rohit. Rohit is... 11th from the bottom or I can say that there are 10 people who have rank after Rohit. Correct? There are 10 people who have rank after Rohit. See, same example. Let us try to understand this with the same example. When I am saying that B is third from the bottom. Right? See, this is the bottom, right? Or the person, last person with fourth rank. Now, if I compare from this side, B is third from the bottom. I am saying B is third from the bottom. When I say B is third from the bottom, how many people have rank after B? There are two people who have rank after B. B is the third one, right? From this end. From this end, B is the third one or there are two people after B. Similarly, when I say that Rohit is 11th from the bottom, that means that there are 10 people who have rank after Rohit. So, before Raj, there are 15 people who have ranks and after Rohit, there are 10 people who have ranks, different ranks. And there is Raj himself, right? Raj himself is there who has the 16th rank and there is Rohit himself who is 11th from the bottom. So, how many people I have been counted now? 15 plus 10, that is 25 plus 1, 26 plus 1, 27. 27 people we have taken into consideration now. The question is, how many people are there between Raj and Rohit? Totally, how many students are standing in the line? Totally, 42 students are standing in the line, out of which we have already counted 27. So, how many people are there between uh, Raj and Rohit? 42 
minus 27 which is equal to 15 so there are 15 people between Raj and Rohit I hope it's clear let me try to explain it to you once again it is given in the question that Raj is 16th from the top or there are 15 people before Raj in terms of rank there are 15 people here before Raj Raj is the 16th person similarly Rohit is 11th from the bottom or whatever be the rank of Rohit after Rohit's rank there are 10 people behind him right in terms of rank see if this is a class rank right whatever be the rank of Rohit after Rohit's rank there are 10 more people now we have to find out remaining people how many people are there here that is what we have to find out now when I try to find out the number of people between Raj and Rohit I shouldn't include Raj and Rohit right because they have asking for the number of students between Raj and Rohit so I try to find out how many people are there other than the number of people between Raj and Rohit that is what I found out here so before Raj there were 15 people then Raj himself was there similarly after Rohit there were 10 people then Rohit himself is there so these are the people who are there excluding the number of people between Raj and Rohit and this is 27 so if totally 42 people are there out of which 27 people are the people who are not between Raj and Rohit so how many people will be there between Raj and Rohit 42 minus 27 which is equal to 15 your correct answer here will be option B which of the following Venn diagrams best depicts the relationship amongst cook girls and dancers which of the following diagram represents that see there can be cooks who are girls correct there can be cooks and the cooks can also be girls similarly there can be dancers who are girls and there can also be dancers who are cooks and girls so this is the best diagram that will represent the relationship among cooks girls and dancers there can be cooks who are dancers only and there can be cooks who are girls but they are not dancers similarly there can be girls who are dancers but not cooks and there can also be cooks who are girls and are dancers there can also be cooks who are not girls or dancers there can be girls who are not cooks or dancers and there can be dancers who are not cooks or girls so this is the correct Venn diagram which represents the relationship among cooks girls and dancers see if if the given words was like animal and monkey right if the question was which Venn diagram best depicts the relationship between animal and monkey then it will be this will be the set animal and all monkeys are animals correct so this monkey will come inside the set animal this is how it will be find the odd one out k n q p s v t w y m p s let us try to find the odd one out k n q if you see here k after k they have missed out l and m and then they have written n that is plus 3 k plus 3 is n similarly after n they have missed out o and p and they have written q so plus 3 that is again q now let us write what is the pattern in p s v here again plus 3 they have missed out q and r and after s they have missed out t and u so again plus 3 and look at the third option option c t w y here again plus 3 they have missed out u and v after w they should miss out x and y and this has to be z but what have they missed out they have missed out only x so here it is plus 2 w then x and then y right they should actually uh, in the same uh, following the same logic they should miss out x and y and this has to be z but no it's given as y so definitely this is going to be our odd one out let us anyway check m p and s let us see what is the logic here after m n and o they have missed and they have written p so m plus 3 is p similarly after p q and r they have not written and they have written s so again p plus 3 is s so this is also following the same pattern so all these three options follow the same pattern but option c is the odd one out if sneha goes for guitar classes on even number of days 
only in August. Then how many days she does not go for guitar class? Assume that four Saturdays and all Sundays are holidays. When is Neha going to class? Neha is going to class only on even days. So we have to find out which of the following days she is not going for classes. It is very clearly given that all Sundays are holidays. So definitely these four days she will not go to class. Similarly, it is also given that the fourth Saturday is also a holiday. So she will also not go on 26th. Then which are the other days that she will not go? She will not go on 1st, she will not go on 3rd, 5th, similarly 7th, 9th, 11th and again uh, 15th, 17th, 19th, then 21st, 23rd, 25th, 29th and 31st. So totally how many days hasn't she gone? She hasn't gone on One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So nineteen days she is not going to class. Correct answer here is option B. 19. I hope all the questions that we solved from this section was clear to all of you. Thank you.